one thing is for sure, uh, what I just heard from Ross, is that Unified Voice, Unified Vehicle, is just the start of Tate Communications in this broadband era. That's correct, is it? It's absolutely correct. Tate Unify is the brand for our network of networks offering where we tie together PMR and uh, LTE. That's the Unify part. You've heard of Unify Voice, you've heard of Unify Vehicle. That's the start of the portfolio. I look forward to seeing much more of that. Very good. Thank you. Time to get some food, then, to be honest. We're very nice. Empty the back of it, One thing is for sure, everybody's having a great time here at the dinner. Um, I wonder what's happening tomorrow when everybody's waking up very early. Um, it's about 9 o'clock. Um, it should be finished at around 11 o'clock. So that means two hours of probably drinking because the dinner has already been finished. James, do you have a second? I do, I yeah, do have a second. It's already successful. It's very it? exciting it's in there. Really uh... So I just wondered, you know, I see this pin, this, sure. this pin over there, yeah. that's, and I can see a familiar face. So what does it mean, actually? Uh, so, so this pin was actually created the year after our founder, Sarangus Tate, uh, Sadly passed away in 2007, um, August the 7th, 2007 precisely, um, and um, we, we produced this the year after he, he passed away um, uh, to, to remind us of, of Angus and, uh, and the message that he always um, passed on to our organisation and that is that the best is yet to come, which it, it says on here. So, so. so you can say it all the time, right? I can, yeah, Perfect. exactly. So, so, so that fits exactly of today, right? Absolutely. You, hear, you heard the best already, but it's still to come. Exactly. So um, it's, it's one of the things that I said at the end of today is that uh, you know, now is the one time that I believe more than ever that truly from Tate that the best is actually yet to come. Actually, I'm now waiting for the bus. You probably would say, whatever, bus? Yes, there is a bus that brings all of the partners of Tate to the new EMEA head office. So, let's follow that bus. <laughs> Again, champagne. Um, those guys like to party. Yes, that's the office of Gary, is it? Good morning. Good morning, how are you, sir? Good, good. All right, good. Speak to you later. <laughs> that's a nice introduction. Yeah. Alan Bull, uh, the man with the horns at Tate Communications. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, Alan, you are the global channel manager of Tate Communications, uh, is it? Correct, yes. So. That's great to hear that you have new partners to that community. I heard yesterday. Is that correct? Here in the UK? Uh, correct. So you know we've recently uh, partnered with Logic Wireless. So mm -hmm. Logic Wireless are our distributor for the for the UK and Ireland. Um, we've got a long, rich his history with Logic Wireless, who uh, are our distributors in New Zealand, but mm -hmm. also Australia. So we've worked with them to to invest in the local uh, distributorship here, and yeah, we're really building uh, building good momentum. And 
the distributors that are here, they're, they're from all over the EMEA, are they? Um, so in terms of the dealers, yes. Um, we had representation not only from the UK and Ireland, but Italy, Russia. Um, so we, yeah, we had good representation at the dealer day yesterday. And are you still expanding your distributor base uh, globally? Uh, we are. So um, you, you may be aware that over in North America, we've signed with Paris as yeah. an exclusive That was an interesting deal, isn't it? Yeah, very interesting, very exciting. Um, so uh, we'll be attending IWCE next week. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you'll hear a lot more about the, the I guess the, the progress that we're making there, all very positive. Um, so yeah, it's an exciting time uh, in terms of our global strategy. Uh, we are looking at, okay, what's our existing coverage? Um, and the dealer network that we have um, is a very loyal uh, dealer network that we've been partnering with so for many years. Um, I'm sure you met uh, a few dealers yesterday. Yes. We, we've had this relationship for 20 plus years. Um, and you know, working at Take Communications, you know, what I've found is it's like a big family business and the loyalty and the partnering strategies that we have with these dealers is, is not just transactional, it goes a lot deeper than that. This is, uh, has been a labour of love by, by, by Jamie and the local team uh, to get us back to this position uh, that we're able to invite you round to our place. We've managed to get here and uh, I think it is fair to say it is, it is one of the, you know, the nicest office fit outs that I've seen. Uh, uh, we will These help are the worst words um, of Andy Gill, he is the new MD of Tate Communications here so in the EMEA. Price books are a pain in the, yeah, you know, um, because in the past I worked with price books and they were almost impossible to work with. Now, there is a solution to that. Um, and we saw a solution yesterday, what you were presenting, because I'm right, right? Correct, yeah. So what did you do on the price book of Tate? So, so you know, obviously, the ease of doing business with our channel partners, it's, it's a continual evolution for us. Um, you know, how do we make it easier for our channel partners to select Tate? But in addition to that, when they select Tate as their solution portfolio, how do they actually quite quickly calculate the bill of materials and also the pricing associated with it. So one of our channel managers based out of Melbourne has spent a fair bit of time on taking a very static, uh, text heavy price book and enhancing it. Um, we've introduced some quick reference guides um, into the price book um, and through um, that quick reference guide you can quite quickly uh, identify what the product platform is that you require and then th through a simple click go right into uh, the appro appropriate pricing that you need to select. Um, then you can quite quickly select that appropriate product and take it across onto more like a, a bill of materials or a modeling sheet. So yeah, it's a significant enhancement um, for, our, for our local price book. We've released that in Australia at this point in time, um, but quite quickly looking at introducing this, uh, that over here in, in the UK and Ireland. Um, but for us, it's only the first step of continually increasing the ease of doing business for t uh, with Tate. Saving time is saving money, and that's important as well, t not only to Tate, but also to the distributors and dealers. The emperor of faith. The emperor of faith. These are good, good seats, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, here is configure a radio combination yep. a combination for radios yep. in order to send out a message to the radios in the yep. field exactly that was that. done in how many that was done in two minutes pretty much yeah two minutes so you can build a whole solution which goes off pulls data from the internet brings it back makes decisions based on it on that information and then sends it out to radios time in, is money is it exactly so and it's it's okay you do need to do a little bit of research before you build that but Hey, you, know, you need it, to get a hang of it first. It's half a day for, yeah. for a beginner, somebody who can't even use the software. And that's the signature of Bell Girls about Jamie Bishop. That's the Tate Radio. And that's Jamie Bishop. So what do they have in common? Actually, Bishop supported radios for the scouting with Tate Communications. Good job. There was a picture of Sir Angus Tate there is, here yeah. at the office. Yeah. Now, if I didn't know you, I would say, if you look at Jamie, if you look at Sir Angus Tate, 
if I wouldn't know you, I would say but your family. <laughs> no, can I can I say that? <laughs> well, we're not. Like, <laughs> <laughs> there is, but but where is this picture being taken? Uh, so th this was, um, and somebody will correct me for this because I, I can't remember the exact details. But this was one of the first um, first mobile radios that Tate, Tate produced um, in the boot of a car for a demo um, in New Zealand. Um, and that's where it all started. That's all, where it all started. This is literally where it's all started. The so, first picture where it all started. So, so I think in every office around the world um, where, where we have a presence, this picture is on the wall.